Hi, um, Paul really wanted me to shower before we go out to eat. Uh, I will, but uh, I haven't showered in a couple of days, a few days. Um, that's why my looks are disintegrating, um, vlog by vlog. Um, um, but I told him I wanted to vlog first and it didn't matter if I look like crap. Um, this, uh, okay, so just, like, last night I was asleep. <laughs> And Paul and Poppy were still up. It was like f almost four in the morning. I mean, they weren't hanging out together. I think he was dozing on the couch and she was coloring. Anyway, I was asleep. And I wake up to like noise and uh, clucking. So I'm like, oh, someone's after the chickens. And, I was, and then I hear Paul go, Open the door, go clapping and going, stop, stop. I was like, why did you let them die? And then I got up to be nosy. And um, as I get up out of the room, um, Poppy screams, um, Copper Top's in the house. No, 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 not Copper Top. There's a chicken in the house. And Paul looks and sees this form running into the house and he thought it might be a raccoon and he couldn't tell um it was the living room light was so dim but it turned out to be copper top and poppy was all about escorting copper top out of the house because she's good with copper top copper top is the most shy and hardest to catch but poppy can do it and then i was like and i said to paul i was like we had a plan. We had a plan. And he was like, I couldn't do it. It sounded like a human screaming. Which I know. Because when the attacks have taken place outside our bedroom window, I've heard them. I know. And I always knew that if he heard, that he wouldn't be able to stop himself from stopping it. Especially being St. Francis. I mean, if it were me alone in the house, I would just be too scared to interrupt. Oh, whatever. I'm afraid of raccoons. Um, I'm actually not cheerful at all. I'm sad. Uh, I guess I'm recovering. Um, like today, I woke up feeling pretty normal. Uh, shortly before the two of them. And took my meds, cracked open a Diet Pepsi, and immediately got like a gurgly stomach ache. Like, I don't think maybe Splenda is good for me because it's happened before, these Diet Pepsis. But um, I was thinking what I would eat and stuff. And uh, they, anyway, anyway, they come in and we're chatting. And um, I decided to have a tuna sandwich because I feel like that will give me some motor throughout the day and Paul makes his um, English muffin and like I just like was not I spaced out on breakfast for Poppy and she will like not have breakfast unless you give it to her offer her choices like she won't be like I'm hungry she'll just go straight into whatever she wants to do and then a couple hours later we'll have a big meltdown so it's our parental responsibility to give her breakfast. And if she doesn't want to eat it, then okay. But she gets to be offered breakfast by her parents. It's her right. And I guess maybe somehow I thought Paul was dealing with it and Paul heard that I was doing it. But she didn't. And then um, the three of us were on the couch after... Paul and I ate, we were like talking, Poppy's like playing, and then the three of us wind up on the couch, and uh, she sees half of a Milano cookie that I didn't finish last night. I keep thinking I want them, but then I don't want them, which is a change in my taste buds due to medications. Um, so anyway, she's like, a cookie? And I was like, yeah, it was mine, I didn't finish. She's like, can I have a cookie? I was like, yeah. So she brings 
the bag over to the table and she's like, do these have dark chocolate? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, ugh. And then Paul's like, well, there, um, there are also thumbprint cookies, which apparently she and he love. I know he loves them, but I guess she likes them too. I never was a fan of that particular Pepperidge Farm cookie. So it's like, it's got jam, like apricot and strawberry goo and thumb print in a cookie. So she goes and gets that package and like, she's eating them and I'm not really paying attention. Just not, not like keeping count or, or thinking about anything. Just wasn't thinking about anything. But at the same time, I formulated a plan for the day. Because I had asked Paul. Paul looked a little depressed this morning. And I was like, well, you know, what's going on on your list? And he's like, well, like there's not a whole lot, but, you know, I need to do laundry. The dishes need to be washed. I was like, I'll do your laundry. I'll do, I'll do the dishes. No problem. And then... Then I came up with this plan where I would do those things, and he also today's his music day, and I would do those things, and then you take Poppy out to play, and then we go out to Japanese, which Poppy has been cra craving for weeks, and I we've been putting her off like you know we're saving money, we're not going to be going out to eat as much. Um, so, I don't know, like, I just felt like, let's do that this weekend. So, so yeah, so I do the little chores. They play. I wanted her to have active physical play, which she is so much better outside if possible. And then, he, and then he does his music, or we eat and he does his music. Seems like, seemed like a good plan. And I felt good about helping him with stuff. And then, of course, when he's doing his music, I hang out with Poppy. And sometime while we were on the couch, and we agreed to this plan. No, I immediately started the laundry. And then um, they were, like, looking at games, like, apps. And they were on, like, an iPad, which was not bothering me. But I just... It, I decided to curl up. I suddenly felt really sleepy. So I curled up and I was kind of trying to doze off. <laughs> I was dozing off, but I had this creeping anxiety like, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. This is wrong. I already slept till noon. Like, what the fuck am I doing? So I got up. And I, th I think I started complaining about Paul. Like, the day wasn't going right and maybe I don't think I come started complaining quite yet I think I dealt he, there were two loads of laundry and I think I just dealt with more of that and had this bad feeling and I, I I don't remember the details but it was building up on my own and at some point Paul was like I'm gonna go take a shower so that sort of made me mad I don't know why like I get like I thought I should set showers First, but I wasn't ready to shower. I'm still not ready to shower. He goes to shower. Um, midway through the shower, or the end, I, I went in there and I was like, can I talk to you? And I started freaking out about how the day wasn't going the way I envisioned it. Like, they, they spent too much time on the couch. Now it was raining you guys weren't gonna play and I didn't even want to go to hibachi for restaurant oh poppy had been bitchy to me poppy oh my god this was, this was the twiggle poppy um I was on the couch with her while Paul was showering and um the thumbprints were gone I know that Paul had been munching on them all week so I know she didn't eat like a whole package of them but she had a number of them and she's like, can I try your, um, your cookies now? And I went, no. She's like, why not? I was like, you had cookies for breakfast. Um, 
it's time to have something better for your body. Um, you know, let's talk about choices, which she's usually interested in talking about choices. And she was, she had her iPhone, I mean her iPad, and she just like looked down at it, like didn't answer, no response. It was as if I weren't there. Didn't even look angry, but I know she heard me. So I waited a few moments, and then I gathered the packages of cookies, the empty one, and Alana's, and I said, well, I guess nothing is an answer. And I put the cookies away, and I lost it, and that's when I went into Paul's bathroom shower experience and was like, I can't handle it. Like, I was so angry at her. And I was like, I don't want to take her out to dinner. I was like, I don't want to take this little bitch out to dinner um, and reward her. Like, I was just babbling. I don't consider her a bitch in, in IRL. And I was really, like, um, autistic, rain man, whatever, like, obsessing about how the day hadn't gone in the order that I should, thought it should go. Um, that things weren't working out and that things were ruined. Like, I couldn't let go. And he was like, well, it's okay. Why don't we just do this or whatever? And um, finally, then he was like, maybe you should take a pill. And I was like, why should I take a pill when it's 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 other people that make me mad, <laughs> make me crazy? And then I was like, that really doesn't apply to this situation, but I do have resentment about how I was treated as a child and everything. And like now I have to take 50,000 pills a day. But anyway, uh, because of what they did to me. So, <clears throat> anyway, I said that. I remember I was being dramatic, but in uh, sincerely dramatic in the moment. And uh, blah, 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 blah. I started going into, I am a bad parent. I am not functional. Uh, the house is a mess. I can't function in the home. I'm really not that good with Poppy. I'm low energy. I'm not assertive with getting out on play dates, and she's lonely for friends. And um, I'm depressed in her presence often, and take long naps. And while well, she does computer, I've had. And um, so yeah, the house. Uh, all I have to do is like keep the house tidy. I don't even mean like spotless, but tidy, and um, keep give her a life, help her have a life. And I can't do it. And I was like, in any job I've ever had, I become dysfunctional and it always ends up in flames. Um, always. And but I just was like saying all this stuff. And, and I was like, you'd be better off without me. You married a mental patient. I am a burden. And he was like, we'd be awful without you. And I was like, I know it would be hard. You'd miss me, but, um, you and she really connect. You're attuned to each other. Um, you would pay more attention to her meals. And actually now he's always oblivious to her meals. But if she he was a sole parent, he would figure that out. And I... Um, and then he started being nice to me. I, I mean, Poppy started screaming for someone to help her with an app. And he had to get dressed. So I helped her with the app. And then... I guess the situation was diffused and I'm doing this before I shower. I'm supposed to shower after I do this. I told him I would vlog and then shower. He wanted me to shower and then vlog. He's hungry. But, um, I, 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 the scene in the bathroom with me was bad. I had a strong desire to self-injure and suicide. I had strong suicidal feelings. Out of like small, small domestic, you know, disharmony. Um, I probably should still take a clonopin because maybe it's lurking. Maybe it'll pop up again today. And then I was, at the end, I was like, you married a mental patient, which he did. Okay, <laughs> bye.